Okay, I was doing nothing specific in particular, but I just went to Steam and I just was shown this, the medium. It looks really interesting. It's just 10% off, but I think I'm gonna buy it and actually make a video about it. So here we go. Let's see how big it is. 38 gigs, that's actually not that bad. Well, medium. Downloading at 16, 18 gigs a second, so we will start this game once it's downloaded and once I'm back. See you soon. Here we are. Welcome to the medium. Uh, I saw as I started the game that it came out like two days ago, so it's pretty new. Uh, I put the settings to all high. I have no idea if it's gonna run at 60. I hope so, because I'm trying to record at 60. And I also want to play at 60 because, well, I have a very powerful computer that should be able to do it and I don't want to play at 30. So here we go, let's start the medium. Ah, before we start, I uh, just wanted to say I've genuinely, genuinely just found the game on Steam and bought it, as you've seen. I know nothing about this game. I don't even know what kind of genre I'm about to play. I just saw a video on Steam and that's it. So let's get into it. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. People used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life.
I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay, um, it looks very nice so far. Let's see what we are actually talking about here. Interesting. Funeral at 12.30. Hold on. On the 16th, there's a funeral at 12.30, and on the 23rd, there's a funeral at 9 and 11. Uh, how many funerals do you go to? October 1999, so it's 1999, it's interesting. Oh, I can read it. Nice. Okay, October. Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, uh, funeral at 10, ultrasound. Okay, it's a weird turn. Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy. <laughs> Sent package to Marianne, neurological visit, funeral at 12.30, ultrasound, again, the hell, neurosurgeon visit, funeral at 9, funeral at 11, pick up Marianne from train station. So October is very packed with doctor's appointment and something brain related I assume, because they're a neurologist and, you know, biopsy, ultrasound, neurosurgeon, interesting. In November that's just All Saints Day. All Souls Day, and on the 5th, there's surgery. So, interesting. Surgery, yeah? Okay. To get used to, well, the game, because I don't know what I'm playing yet. Can I walk towards the camera? No, I can't. Interesting. Meow, kid. Yeah. Nice kitty, kitty, kitty. Too. Come here, kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. Let me pet the cat. No, forget the painting. Pet the cat. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Apparently I can't pet the cat. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Is she calling her father by his first name, Jack? Seems a bit weird. Seems to suggest a traumatic past, where they weren't exactly on speaking terms. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Yeah, can I not? I cannot pet the cat. Already a minus in my book. Holy shit. Jack was part of the solidarity movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his fear. Oh. 1978 NSCN, whatever that means. What's this? Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Oh, it's a tie okay. pin thing. Let's do this the other way. What do you mean? Person holds left control to activate inside. Really? How did it end up there? Nice. I can combine it. Or not. A key. The last goodbye funeral home. That's a very old key, a very insecure lock. Holy shit. Well, it's 1999, but still they had better keys than back then. <laughs> Not relevant. Anything else? Okay, I think that's it. Hmm. Jack's waiting downstairs. The game tells me if that's time. it. I like that. Okay, I can't touch the cat, so let's just not go to the cat. I'm... I already know there's gonna be jump scares. Because the camera angles are just perfect for that. Weird to be back in my old room. Oh, it's mine. So many memories. Yeah. 
I used to have a thing for them. Obviously. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. I also like that she has um, two differently colored eyes. I don't know the, the technical term. The genetic term. Kids from the orphanage. No oh. All of them have my love. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. It makes a lot more sense now that she's calling him by his name and not dad. I mean, it depends on when she was adopted, but... I'm adopted and I call my parents still mom and dad. Because that's what they are to me. <laughs> but I don't know when she was adopted. I was adopted as a baby, I used so... I a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkan, interesting name, we must request you to attend to the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Principal of Primary School number 7. Sophia Kanya. Sophia with a Z. Don't think I've ever seen that before. And the line, uh, talk about Marion's future in our school or lack thereof because it sounds like she's about to be expelled. But I don't know. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. ICU admission card. Intensive care unit? Okay. General information. First name, Mary, and last name, it doesn't exist. Age, three years old. Sex, female. Initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs, uh, upper limbs area. Suspected inhalation injury. Oh, is that where her skin is so dirty looking? Is that like scarring? Care management and stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is rolled out. Wow, she, so I assume there was a fire that killed her parents and she almost got snuffed out as well. 35% of her skin, that's rough. Ouch. I not do anything on the pad. That's what she said. Uh, stupid joke. Cannot walk here? Okay. Yeah, this is jump scare territory if I've ever seen one. It feels a little bit like uh, Resident Evil. But in a good way. It's just it's it feels very unique in this uh, this day and age of gaming. I can give the cat food. I just have to find the food. Let's find food. Looks nourishing. <laughs> yeah, right. What language is that? Polish, Russian? No, Russian would be a different alphabet. Cyrillic. So. It's Czech or Polish, I think. I don't know. I'm not a languageologist, obviously. I speak like two languages. What do you want from me? I wish I could do. Oh, I can with the mouse wheel. Okay, I spoke too soon. 
Here you go. What's your face? <laughs> Glad to see you're still kicking around. What's your face? Don't even know the cat's name. I'm gonna give it a name. Good morning, Krak Krakow. Okay, so check. <coughs> Friday, November 5th, 1999. New best player. After yesterday's summary, Nicolas Belli is the best soccer player in the second sports league. Alright, start at the top. Uh, it's 1.9, I think, slotty is the currency. Yeah, that, I think that's. Uh, Czech or Poland? I keep. Oh, it's Poland. <laughs> top right corner, there's a Polish uh, web address, so it, it's Poland. I don't know what that, why that paper is in English then. <laughs> Symbolic funeral of the Sierra mine. Why not from the Sierra mine in Trip? <laughs> Trebinia City, that's probably wrong, carried a symbolic black casket. Candles were lit on it. Hold on. Um, miners from the mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says say members of the Siasa Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they added. They add, okay. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the Siasa Mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside of the company headquarters in Tihi. Tihi, okay. Building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. Interesting. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Earlier today, US President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. It's 1999, I mean, that was a while ago. President commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that, this country's that his country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. Nice. Good old times. When there was no virus ravaging the planet. I can't believe it's all still here. Whoa, he was a photographer. Oh, Either a hobby or his job. I mean, maybe he was a photographer for the paper we just found. How to... D oh god, I think we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna find a, a film somewhere, right? Ah, number one, uh, illuminate photo for five seconds. Number two, dip in multigrade for three seconds. Number three, dip in stop for three seconds. And then number four, dip in fixer for three seconds. Right, that's gonna be something. Oh, there's nothing yet to put in. So, there's three. Oh. Ah, that's the illumination part. I have nothing to put down there. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. So, I can just, what, do it? Okay, uh, five seconds. I hope they go in order, like one, two, three, four. Because otherwise I'm fucked. I don't know which one is which. Okay, five seconds, three, three, three. One, two, five. I don't know if, if I counted correctly, because I'm stupid. Three. One, two. 
two, three. Ooh. One, two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Ooh, cool. Shit. That is a good looking photo of a good looking man. And that was bang on with the development. So, yeah, nice. Apparently I have a knack for it, and it's very old school. Even in 1999... Oh, no. Film was still largely around, I think. Digital hasn't taken away it. Not entirely sure. Can't do anything on the fridge. Oh, wait, that's where I came from. I get lost so easily. Left or right? Well, I'm a lefty, so... We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. What powers? Nineteen eighty four. Wow, that's an old copy, Jesus. Uh, the game also said that it's best played with a controller, but I'm still using keyboard and mouse apparently. Obviously. Not apparently. Working very fine so far. Since I didn't have any idea what to expect from this game, I didn't know whether to use control controller or mouse and keyboard. The game also has RTX support, and it's turned on, so it's not turned on max, it's just turned on. So far I haven't really noticed anything. Can I... This is a dead end, right? Yeah, okay. I haven't used inside so far. I don't know if that was a failure of mine. Doesn't seem to be doing much. So I have to go down to the funeral home. Which he apparently ran, so he was a funeral home director. Had his own funeral home and now he's lying in it. That's, that's a bit morbid, but okay. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Condition? Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a <coughs> gift and not a curse. So, foster parents, not adoptive parents? Okay. Interesting. I wonder what the difference actually is. Do foster parents just care for the child for a while and then give it back or something? I don't know. And yeah, you can see in the puddles on the ground, there's RTX running. That's, it looks really nice. Problem with that is it looks actually better than the rest around it, which can be annoying. It's kind of the same in Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077 looks awesome, but the RTX part look so much more good that the non-RTX part kind of got a little bit lost. The last goodbye funeral home. Good name, actually. There it is. Um, key. Hold on. Why is this showing? Okay, nothing. Nothing special here. Jackson, the prep. Ooh, fancy. Oh, that looks like completely different. The outside looks like a building that's about to collapse. And then you go in here and you're thinking, holy shit, this is nice. Yeah, I mean, just that 
office. Holy shit, I want that office. Without the cross. Tree of life, I guess. Can't really do anything. Oh. Here it is. Prep room. Good thing I checked in here first. A uh, record funeral. Name of deceased Adam Novak. Family contact uh, 3220299. General information sex mail. Date of birth uh, 2576. I don't know if 5 or 2 is the month because date formats. Birthplace Krakow. Name of mother Hannah. Name of father Stanislav. Occupation university student. Wow. So died young? Married, married, okay. Date of death, uh, 1999. Okay, no, no, not young. <laughs> Cause of death, car accident. That's harsh. Additional services, embalming, dressing body, flowers. Autopsy repair. Jesus, that's the reality of death, I guess. Jack, Mrs. Novak uh, brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Oh, that, that's me. I wrote that. To Jack. So, w hold on. I was working here as well? Apparently. Oh, cool. So it wasn't just my foster father, but he actually worked here with him. Maybe lived here with him. I don't know. Poland is actually not far away from Austria, so I'm kind of close to there, compared to if it were to be in America, for example. Okay, we do have a key. I don't know if there's a, uh, how this game saves. Well, I can't manually save, which I kind of don't like, because for videos it's nicer if I can just load and save whenever I want, so I can decide when to stop the video. It's about 27 minutes now. It's definitely running well, I mean, V-Sync is on, it's running it's locked at 60 mostly. So far anyway, so that's nice. Even with RTX, which is really nice. I know nothing about the developers, so I don't know if they're a big studio or not. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Yeah, I can understand it. I would not be able to do this. Absolutely not. Can I not pick up the tie? Okay. Guess we're going straight into it. Jesus Christ, that would freak me out so much. I'm such a little pussy. Yeah, I need the uh, I, I need the tie. Clip? No. Where's your tie? It's behind you. I tried to pick it up before. You wouldn't let me. Nice. Combine the clip with the tie. Yeah, makes sense. The pin is okay with the... I think that's the Polish flag, but the color of the tie is atrocious. This guy is at his funeral, not at a party. But okay. Nazi. You wouldn't have it any other way. Sure. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. What am I?
Oh, can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Apparently, it's goodbye reality. If I turn on my powers, it looks... Oh, I can go somewhere else. Hold on, look at the camera, girl. Well, I think this is where I'm gonna leave the first episode. It's been 30 minutes, well 31, so yeah, I like the game so far, it's very interesting, I want to see where this goes. Uh, thank you very much for watching, my name is Oliver here at Vienna Gamer, and I will see you next time.